Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving deep into a crucial topic for any business owner, unit economics. You might have a great product, but do you know if it's actually making you money on its own? It's a vital question. There's a saying, if your unit economics are broken, scaling up your business just means you'll lose money faster. So, let's break it down. What exactly is unit economics? It s the profit and loss story of a single item you sell. Think one loaf of bread or one packaged cake. We're asking a simple question. Does it make sense to sell just one of these? If the answer is yes, then we can ask, how many do we need to sell to make the whole company profitable? Let's talk about profit per unit. There are two ways to look at this. First, the strategic view, which uses the contribution margin. This is simply your unit's price minus its variable cost, the cost to make just one more. This margin is what you have left to contribute to paying for your big picture costs like rent and salaries. Second, there's the accounting view, which calculates the net profit per unit. This is the true profit of a single item after it's been assigned a small piece of those overhead costs. This number changes depending on how many units you sell. Sell one loaf, and it carries all the rent. Sell a hundred, and each carries only 1%. Now, let's put this into practice and build a dynamic calculator in our spreadsheet. This tool will help us see both the contribution margin and the net profit per unit, and how they change with sales volume. You can use the video link in the description for the detailed steps and comprehensive tutorial. First, open your Greenleaf Bakery financial model. We'll work in the profit and loss sheet. Next, we'll build our analysis table. We'll have two main sections, profit per unit analysis, which is our micro view, and total profit analysis, our macro view. In the micro view, we'll list the sales price per unit, variable cost per unit, and then calculate the contribution margin per unit by subtracting the variable cost from the price. After that, we'll calculate the allocated fixed cost per unit. That's your total fixed cost divided by the number of units in your scenario. Finally, we'll find the net profit per unit by subtracting this allocated fixed cost from the contribution margin. In the macro view, we'll calculate total revenue, total variable costs, and total contribution. Then, we subtract the total fixed costs to find our big number, the total net profit. This calculator helps you see if you need to raise your price to improve your contribution margin or if you just need to sell more to cover your fixed costs and turn a profit. It's all about finding that sweet spot for your business. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you gain a clearer picture of your business's profitability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more business insights.